Welcome Booth from the show floor. We did see Go Straight for the DS. And uh, if you'd like to introduce yourselves to us. I'm the director of Ghost Trick, uh, Shu Takumi. I'm the producer of Ghost Trick, Hironobu Takeshita. Great, can you describe the concept of your game for us, Ghost Trick for the DS? So the basic premise of this game is you start out as a dead man um, and you know you've lost all your memories being dead so your ultimate goal is to find out uh, who you are and regain all your memories. And how does that play out? What kind of gameplay does that involve? Well, the gameplay aspect is really easy. Um, using the touch screen you can control Sizzle and he's, um, he has a bunch of uh, powers of the dead that he acquired um, when he died and so it's really straightforward, really simple. Just use the touch screen. Even someone like uh, you could play it. Even someone like me, that's great. <laughs> okay, um, it's quite a dark theme. I mean, there's a, there's comedy in it, but what's the inspiration for something for something like this, for the Phantom Detective? Well, this actually came out of some, uh, making the Ace Attorney series. Um, when I was working on the Ace Attorney series, I had wanted to make a game that was completely different from um, the Ace Attorney series, and that's how this came about. Um, it's a little bit dark, as you mentioned, but it's something very different. Does it bear any resemblance to the Ace Attorney series? I mean, it came out of that, but is there any similarities? It is a bit more dark and serious this time around, but um, one of the things that's similar to Ace Attorney is um, the humor and just the uh, animated and lively characters. So even though it's really, really dark or really serious, it may look that way, um, you may still end up laughing a lot through it. I understand the game is out in Japan very, very soon. Um, so it's a finished game, and when should we see it in, uh, in the US and in Europe? The title of this game is Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, and this is coming out for the Nintendo DS. So we're looking at a release date of uh, winter 2010 for North America and for Europe, and we haven't quite decided on a price for it yet, but we think it'll be well worth the price of admission. We hope that you'll definitely have a lot of fun with this game.